Why, hello there, Identity 5 Gamers. Today, we're gonna check out some more of my match replays. But first, I actually played blackjack mode, guys. Trust me, I played blackjack mode and I got the freaking rewards from it. Wow, let's open them up, see if we get anything cool. Feels weird having so much of these. All right, let's start with this one here. Freaking elk moment. Do we get anything cool? It's little child, I already have that, I'm pretty sure. Yep. At least I'm getting a lot of fragments. Oh yeah, I have XX Hall, Colin, let's do this. And it's mid. All right, mid, mid, mid. This is probably gonna be a whole load of mid, but you know, you never know, right? You never know if he gets something cool here. All right, mammoth moment, and yeah, lots of mid, but I'm getting fragments, so you know what? I'm fine with this. All right, here's the blackjack stuff. Unlocking the blackjack, freaking rewards. Merc moment. Actually, why don't I just open them all? Eh, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Visit Jojo? Yo, what did I say, bro? It's visit Jojo. 200 fragments, though. I've gotten visit Jojo so many times, bro. Like, I swear, I've gotten it maybe like five times, which is, oh, wait, that's Undead's thing, right? Yeah, okay. Yo, we got an A-tier accessory for Undead. I've never played Percy, but cool. I guess I'll uh, have that ready for next time. And as for this, I only need 17 more to open up um, the Melly costume here, which I'm super excited for. So I actually might be able to do that with my fragments here. Hold on, let's open all. All right, we didn't get anything from that, but we should guarantee be able to get uh, Professor of Freaking Zoology. So we got Embalmer. That's cool, I suppose. Hey, what's going on, Aesop? Anyway, I think I'm going to open 10 more because I, I want to uh, I want to get closer to getting that Melly. All right, I didn't get it, but I'm pretty sure I guarantee get it in like a few more pulls. Um, all right, we got Coordinator Costume. That's cool. And is this Jojo? All right, it's Thief. Ooh, spooky. All right, so a lot of those are new, all right. Yeah, open four more and I get Melly. Um, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm actually gonna do that, why not? No reason not to. We got Joker, all right. I know this is a lot of my clues, but I want that freaking Melly skin, dude. I want that freaking Melly skin. Uh, Enchantress Cheer, I think I already have that. Let's see, all right, the one after this is Melly. And we also got a Mind's Eye costume, all right, cool. Now this next one is guaranteed to be Melly. Let me see, Melly, professor of zoology and botany. Woo! Finally, Melly time! Oh, I'm gonna be rocking this skin for a while. I can already tell you that, dude. Let's go! Without a doubt, I am equipping this new costume, dude. Let's go, Melly! She's so cool! And now that we have this very beautiful Melly costume, let's actually switch into it here. Yeah! Yippee! Melly time! Let's actually take a closer look at this. I just want to see. What exactly does the animation look like? That was pretty. Just kind of like has like a big old whatever those things are circling around and it turns into a butterfly. Bro, that's so cool. Pulls out the book. Melly very studious. Yo, there's a, there's a butterfly in there. Yo, it's a pressed insect and it's alive. Oh, no, I let the, hello? Who, what? <laughs> that was interesting. Well, let's go, Melly Gaming, dude. And as you can see, I have now swapped to that Melly right here. Whoa, so cool, dude. All right, now let's actually watch some matches. Sorry about that. I just had to get excited for Melly, dude. You know how it is. All right, for the first match here, we're gonna be watching me playing, wow, Magician, what? <laughs> I actually don't have this character unlocked. I've just been playing him on his free days because I have to get his uh, deductions done. And I gotta do the same with Explore. I might actually get them sometime soon because they're both relatively cheap for some reason. I don't really know why Magician uh, Explorer and Mercenary are all like somewhat cheap. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be taking the Kyrie first, kind of hiding, seeing where he's approaching from. And I don't really remember what happens in this game, but we're going against Fool's Gold, which honestly, my, my kite against Fool's Gold is like pretty 50 50 most of the time. Uh, it really depends on how good the Fool's Gold players are, but I get the uh, the wand speed boost. Um, what's really, really good about Magician is when he uses the decoys, he gets a 40% speed buff, I believe, for two seconds. And he doesn't, he can't get Terra Shock whenever he uses the wands, which is so very nice. Um, and I do what a lot of magicians did right there, where I just go and, um, okay, yep, that, that was that was really good. Yeah, it has excitement. I get the excitement out, which is pretty funny. But I, I use the wand and run backwards uh, after using it, which is what I see a lot of magicians do. Um, isn't really that that bad of a strat, but I've already used up two of my wands here. I might use the third one here. No, I use Flywheel. Yeah, and all three times I have waited. I have waited very patiently for him to swing first and then I go and drop the pallet, um, which is pretty good to do sometimes. You can't always do it. That was pretty stupid. I just took a chip hit for free there and I'm probably gonna take a basic attack here any second. 
Oh, I tried 360 him, but his charge attack lasts a little longer than I thought. Oh yeah, this is what I think I saved the match for. The Priestess Portal, dude. The Priestess Portal is like right up here. And it's like, well, I'm taking first kite. I have no more items. I'm about to go down. No more flywheel. And I'm just, I'm just booking it toward this, uh, this Priestess Portal here. And Fool's Gold is trying to prevent it by doing this, but I don't think he sees. Or he goes up to Mercenary for some reason and not the, uh, the Long Portal. So I get the free escape. I mean, I'm gonna go down, obviously. But like, that's a free escape. Priestess is right here to help heal me up. And he is like. You know, halfway across the map now. He has to go all the way back over here if he wants to kill me. And after I get healed, I'm pretty sure I just go and grab an item. That way I can, you know, actually have something to kite with, except it's a syringe, so big fat rip. And I'm stuck on decoding now. Um, but I think he yeah, is he coming back over? Yep, he is indeed coming back over. Um, and I think I. I'm not sure what happens after this, though. That's that's the big thing. Uh, I'm glad that he decides to chase the priestess because uh, it's freaking priestess. She still has portals ready. And all I have is a syringe. Literally, all I have is a syringe, so I'm just decoding here with freaking Domaki. Uh, while I think the cowboy is finishing up the priestess' cipher from earlier. Oh, and Mercenary actually takes a chip hit right there. Uh, for some reason, I think they're deciding to open a new cipher, which I'm a little uh, confused about. Yeah, because cowboy, cowboy cipher is almost, uh, almost ready here. Uh, you know, it never hurts to do at least something. There's the pop. Yeah, luckily, luckily they do get that pop uh, right before Fool's Gold was able to pick up. That's that's really really dangerous. Is get downing somebody with the pickaxe. Uh, and then popping, it's it's pretty scary. But yeah, Merc's, Merc's gonna go down. A bit unfortunate. I'm kind of just hiding it out here because I did not want to get spotted out. Um, especially if like Fool's Gold goes for the door, I can just go and replace Priestess on the door. But she's able to get out, and I'm able to get the backdoor rescue since he was focusing his efforts onto the Priestess. Cowboy and I are both here, um, but we can't exactly tank any hits for poor Merc. Uh, Merc has nothing to work with, and I don't know. If, I don't know if this is for escape actually. I think I just like book it because I have nothing I can do. I have flywheel, yep, I use flywheel there. Mercenary does get hit. Uh, I'm trying to do the heal strat here. I realize it's not gonna work, so I just die. And I think what must happen, does he crawl out? I, do I guess, no, he doesn't crawl. What? What is, ha what is happening? What is actually happening, what? Well, okay, I think, okay, I don't know what happened there. That was really weird. <laughs> that was so, what is happening? Why is it so jank? What the? Okay, he rescued. Yeah, Cowboy rescues Merc and they can both get out. I don't know what happened there. I don't know why the animations are so jank. It may be because I left and just quick save replay. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but we got four escape. Cool. All right, this next match is goofy as heck because look at this. This is Asylum Wax Artist going up against Doc. Doc, Doc, and Doc. <laughs> It's so funny, dude. The thing is, like, nobody, nobody, this is like a quick match. It's Asylum. Nobody's going to take this seriously. Um, what was happening is, I'm pretty sure, like, two people were already Doc, and then the third person swapped to Doc, and I was like, well, might as well join them. So we're literally all playing Doc, and we're up against Wax Artist, who is literally just standing there. <laughs> Probably realized he's up against four Docs. I was like, ah, do I really want to do this to myself? <laughs> yeah, so this Doc comes to work on my Cypher, which is definitely a very, very good idea. And we're, we're just memeing around, dude. We're just we're just memeing around because I'm just, it's just like we're I'm playing freaking Doc on Asylum, and there's four of us. Like, yeah, bro. Like, what <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? I'm kind of just zigzagging. I go down to the basement just to avoid the wax. Honestly, um, the thing is, I can like come back here. I know he has no presence, so he can't wax bomb or anything. So yeah, I'm just hiding back here. I'd rather take a basic hit than get wax. So I get the veteran speed boost from he uh, from this. And as you can see, the wax is immediately falling off of me. Um, and right now, I'm just trying to get some distance, but I think he's actually able to catch up to me relatively fast. Yeah, because he, he blinks. Yeah, he blinks past it. I don't really get any chances to try and heal. I, I want to, like, try and get a chance to heal, but because he freaking blinked, I don't really get that opportunity. Um, what I probably should have done right there, instead of just throwing down the pallet, hide behind the pallet and then start healing. Um, but whatever. I, I, think I, I think I was just like, whatever. I'm not really, like, thinking too hard, because, again, it is a freaking quick match against Wax Artists on Asylum, and we're all docs, so, like... Re realistically, what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> oh, it's just so freaking goofy, dude. It's so goofy. And of course, I, I'm probably, like, I think I'm gonna go down because I literally don't, yeah, I'm gonna die here. Because like, I don't know this freaking map, dude. I'm just like running around. Um, I, I had no idea like there, there was walls or, or like where, where walls were. Um, so yeah, that's a bit, a, bit, a bit unfortunate. I think he actually eventually drags me to basement and I I somehow get out with the skin of my teeth, dude. Because I actually wanted to try and push for a four escape here because I was like, oh, well, three ciphers are done. Um, part of the reason because of that is because he was standing still for so long. But I was really hoping the other two docs would just cipher rush here. Um, but I'm pretty sure we don't, we, we do not um, get even close to having the, uh, the four escape. Because I think, 
Did she gets terror. Yeah, she gets terror shock. Yeah, I think that terror shock definitely changed the game. That that is 100% the reason why. So I think I ping help me. Sorry, no. I think I eventually ping help me because one of the docs comes in. Yeah, that that terror shock definitely changed the game. Um, I, I was wondering why we like putting such a bad situation, and I realized, oh yeah, it's because that freaking terror shock. <laughs> Uh, but luckily this other doc is coming in here and she does not indeed get terror shock which is nice i think she's trying to force chair hit here potentially just don't get terror shock doc don't get terror shocked she gets waxed off and he just keeps going for the wax that's <laughs> so funny yeah but he downs me and i think somehow i'm able to wait no i know i don't die though oh because he tries to take me to basement that's right yeah i think i'm able to struggle free yeah, cause okay, cause he swings, and I think he swings a second time. No, he stands still. Think oh, he thinks about swinging, but yeah, because he was doing those swings, getting a little bit over aggressive. I'm just barely able to struggle for it. Yeah, I was right there. He could have put me in the chair, and I'm kind of stuck. So I have to like you know wrap around. But like you know, I I shouldn't I shouldn't be alive, right? I should not be alive. And then the two docs, bro. I get two docs here body blocking me. Oh, it's so goofy, dude. It's so look at this. <laughs> it's just a chain of docs. Look at that. She does the crouch down too. Oh, it's so funny. That's so funny. They block off the pallet so they can give me a chance to heal because they know I'm dead on chair. And he just sits there waxing them over and over and over and over. Oh, it's so goofy, dude. So I finally get a chance to heal here. Thank goodness. I'm hiding behind this pallet. Doc takes the hit. Um, they're stalling. Then Doc can take another. It's just like, this is just a Doc body block chain, bro. It is a Doc body block chain because the other one, the last one's decoding. So yeah, we're just, we're just freaking playing around here. And for some reason, I didn't fully heal. I don't know why. I guess I'm just trying to. I think I'm just trying to get distance, yeah, because I don't. I don't know if he can find me. Um, honestly, the best the best decision is if we all ran default skins here, because then he wouldn't be able to tell us apart. <laughs> oh, it's so goofy. I finally do get the heal off here, but like this, this is just a meme match, you know. This is just an absolute freaking meme, uh, b because it's freaking four docs on asylum, bro. Like, what? What is this freaking match? All right, so unfortunately, the the cipher is prime, but I'm pretty sure um, the last doc is all right do i go for no i don't think we can make this rescue unfortunately yeah i think that was the big sad part is i wanted to get this rescue but i don't think we were able to um because he's trying to hot wax the other doc which makes it kind of difficult yeah i think he actually downs this doc let's see does he down her I don't, I don't think they get the rescue i'm pretty sure they don't, don't get the rescue um never mind they do get the rescue okay well the cypher is primed now so it's, it's fine and i i still think this is a tie there we go pop and uh, I was I was like hoping dude I was actually hoping for this four escape because it would be so funny right it would be so funny but the first dot gets blinked down which means that she is now dead on chair so four escape is no longer possible which is really sad um, really sad because again it would have been so freaking funny dude it would have been so freaking funny if we got the four escape and he actually chairs right here I was really hoping they get to chase a struggle free but unfortunately they don't so they are indeed dead on chair and then we're just like yeah get the heck out of here bro we gotta get out of here and I'm kind of like maybe stalling a little bit this doc's stalling here a little bit um, and I don't think this last doc has the chance to get out yeah because now she's got the crows on her no wait, no no dungeons are okay never mind I think she gets dungeon dungeon is like right up there um yeah, she should be able to get dungeon here unless she's no way. I, okay, no, actually, she doesn't get dungeon. She literally gives it. She literally gives him the win. She actually gives him the win because she can definitely get dungeon here. Watch this. She just gives him the win. Look, she stands right here and then like, yeah. All right. Well, okay. Never mind. It doesn't show it. Well, uh, anyway. Oh, I think she either surrendered. I don't know. She either surrendered or just let him get the hit. Cause I remember watching. So I was like, yo, please get the three escape. And then she just gave up. She just surrendered or gave him the win. Cause yeah, it says draw. So yeah, I thought that was a bit weird, but whatever. All right. This next match, I'm actually playing painter. Painter was free yesterday. So I was, you know, doing some painter games. Why not? It's kind of fun to play this character. He's not very good, but he's fun. You know, he's fun. And I think I mainly just decode for most of the match, but I have I have a pretty cool uh, mid game or like late mid game and end game. Um, but I'm pretty sure Ripper actually chases. I want to say he like chases bad. No, he chases journalist. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Okay, I remember. Yeah, okay. So somehow we get I think three escape here, but he actually kills journalist so fast, right? He hits journalist, doesn't get the Orphy body block, um, baits that, and then boom, down immediately. And I'm sitting over here and I'm like, bruh, bruh. It's been like you know maybe 20 seconds 30 seconds and she's already downed i was just like bruh this is not gonna go well because like whenever a match starts like this you're just like well here we go here comes the 4k bro here comes the 4k and somehow it doesn't it doesn't happen because the ripper goes after the batter here and the batter actually does a good job of playing around here he has to wait for the tram no, don't get hit by the tram <laughs> Tram helping out stall just a little bit, but yeah, he can just like do this, play around with the ball, 
Um, kind of trying to zigzag avoid the ball here. Starts lagging a little bit too. Dodges Foggy Blade, which is really nice. Yeah, Foggy Blade is always like really, really scary, dude. But I'm pretty sure he doesn't get the rescue um, before half, unfortunately. Let's see. Does he get it? He does, actually. Never mind. I think Ripper tried to predict and maybe try and Terra Shock there. But, uh, you know, saving right before half, it, it seems to have like a little bit longer uh, time there than you expect. So, Batter is actually yeah, going to go down, unfortunately, to the Foggy Blade. Um, and he just completely decides to swap over to the Batter, Chair the Batter. And I'm over here destroying this peeper because I freaking hate peeper. So freaking ugly, bro. Peeper's so ugly. All right, now we're able to get the heck out of here. Um, and I think I had right here to potentially... Oh, yeah. Look. <laughs> I forgot about that, dude. I realized he had no foggy. So I'm just like, well, I'm just going to try and bait him here. Because uh, if he had foggy, it would have been pretty dangerous. And because of that, actually, Journalist was able to get the backdoor rescue. But I'm pretty sure Journalist goes down here and actually... Yeah, she, go she goes down to foggy, uh, which kind of sucks. And I, I do feel bad for poor Kaede here. Yeah, so now he drops a peeper. And again, we're at four ciphers, so this is not looking good. And I don't remember if I had Tide Turner or not. I, I, I want to say that I don't. Oh, I don't because watch this. Boom. Flywheel through the Foggy Blade, bro. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Um, so I'm able, I'm able to get the rescue just barely, dude. Just barely. I try to start painting a little bit. The chair is gone because of a bug. That looks weird. <laughs> Look at that. The rocket chair is just gone. What is up with that, dude? Um, so yeah, I'm just getting some paintings ready here, and I'm like, well, they're all around this area. I don't know if it's gonna help. Oh, yeah, oh, don't get hit by the tram. <laughs> I thought, uh, you know, I've seen people put the painting down into the tram. So I thought, oh, I'll just put the painting down there. Maybe it'll help somebody out. It actually doesn't, unfortunately. It gets completely wasted, uh, which I did feel a little bit bad about. But look, well, luckily, the enti this entire time, the prisoner is like focusing on decoding. Um, and he can kind of decode two cybers at once, which is nice. Well, the, you know, the, uh, the two other ones are over here. Uh, the batter was doing a great job, right? The, the batter was doing a very, very beautiful job, just like protecting the journalist and also takes takes the kite after the journalist goes down here. Um, but I think I'm back on decoding. No, I, okay, I finished my painting first, then I'm back on decoding. Journalist went around here, uh, goes to the painting, but Ripper, I guess. Oh no, he, he okay. He, he uh, I felt so bad about this. He gets foggy and then looks at it, dude. I was so upset about that. It would have been so nice if he like missed the foggy, but. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Like, the painting could have helped out there so much, but Foggy Blade moment. And Batter misses the freaking ball. So, yeah. He just has to... He just has to run away. So, a bit sad. He goes to pick up his ball, which makes sense. You definitely don't want to lose your freaking... Uh, you for, you're, yeah, I think he had, like, one off in the corner as well. So, it's like, he only has one freaking ball left here. So, he's got to be really, really careful in how he uses it. Um, but I'm pretty... Yeah, he's like, he has, like, a really nice... Uh, a, a really nice kite here. Uh, does indeed get hit... Uh, but yeah, he's, he's gonna go on a rampage now, so he has much false, uh, faster vaulting. Look at that, dude. He, he vaults so fast, it's 40% increase, dude. 40% increase vaulting is actually dummy good. And I think rampage lasts for like 40 seconds. I think it lasts for a good amount of time. Um, look at that. Dodge it, dodges the foggy with the flywheel. Um, I don't even think it would have hit him. I don't think he even needed to use the flywheel there. But doing a really, really good job of kiting right here. Um, and doing a, doing a much better job of cutting the ripper than I ever could, bro. Foggy Blade just memes on me, dude. And now, now the Cypher's problem kind of is like, all right, bro, um, go pick up your ball if you have it, or just go down or something. I don't know. Um, and boom, does indeed get hit. Boop, back up. And luckily, he lost his Foggy there, too, which is so good. He lost his Foggy there. Um, and he tries to go into the graveyard, but he's not having it, dude. He's coming after us. And uh, yeah, the, the end game here, I'm pretty sure, was kind of neat. As you can see, there was like one of the batter's balls over here. Uh, but I actually didn't really know who he was going to go after. I think he actually goes after the prisoner and downs the prisoner. Uh, no, he hits prisoner. Yeah, he hits prisoner with Foggy somehow, um, which was pretty good. And I'm trying to, like, bait him to... I, I try to okay, I think I remember what I was trying to do here. I wanted to try and maybe get uh, to a spot where I could use the painting, but I don't think there was ever a good uh, spot where I could use said painting. And I think he downed him with Foggy there. Um, actually, I don't know what he... I, I guess maybe it was pallet trade. I don't know what he downed him with there because he has Foggy Blade back now. So it must, it must have been a freaking uh, pallet trade. But I think he actually swaps to teleport right before we're able to get this gate open. I'm dropping the pallets down here so we have something to work with here. Uh, and he does indeed swap to teleport. So as you can see, I'm already... I, once I heard that trade swap, I'm already out of there, dude. I am already out of there. Going to go rescue the prisoner. Um, and I think he actually... Yeah, he's going to go try and like walk back to the prisoner. But I have the painting. And I don't know if I put it down here. No, I start baiting him out. Okay, I, okay he's going to start chasing me. So I'm just going to like... Yeah, okay. That almost hit me, dude. I was so worried. <laughs> I had one painting to work with. Um... And luckily, I think Batter goes for the prisoner instead. I don't, I don't think I'm able to get the rescue off on the prisoner. I think Batter has to do it instead. Because, yeah, he keeps, he keeps guarding me away from him. Uh, which gives Batter the opportunity to do it instead. Which is really nice. So I hear... I think I hear Foggy here. 
Yeah, I hear Foggy, so I yeah, I run to the other thing, uh, which is fine. Getting hit by Foggy wasn't wouldn't be that bad there, but you know, you don't really want to get hit by it anyways. So I'm just kind of you know wrapping around here, um, flywheel, and then he just breaks the pallet instead of trying to go for the hit, which I thought was a bit interesting. I guess he didn't want to get looped around this area, but guess what happens, dude? He's getting looped around this area, <laughs> just barely misses the attack, and. Um, and I'm, just, I'm playing around with this one pallet. He does indeed hit me with Foggy here, but I realize, oh wait, I can just use this pallet now. And then guess what? Dungeon is in the area. So I hear it open. I'm like, oh baby, you know what time it is, bro. It's freaking dungeon time. And then right as I press it, he surrenders. He doesn't even let me get to it, dude. I press dungeon. I don't even get to see Painter hop into it. He just surrenders, bro. Somehow we turned that match that had like a 20 second down into a three escape. That was fun, dude. That was a freaking fun match. All right, so this was a very, very funny match. Um, I'm not gonna show all of it. I'm only gonna show one little part of it. I've, I've been playing Journal Slot recently, trying to learn here a bit more. You know, trying to trying to learn the Ashes Memory characters. I'm actually gonna play Orpheus very, very soon. Uh, that way, I've you know, get experience with all the Ashes Memory characters. Uh, but there's one specific moment in this match that I was just cracking up with so hard. All right, so basically, what's been happening here is Fool's Gold has been doing a really, really good job of camping. And I was unfortunately unable to get a rescue because I think I used up like Tide Turner earlier. I think I used up my Orpheus rescue, rescuing somebody earlier or something. I forget. Um, but either way, down to Toy Merchant here. He's going to start coming after me. And I think I run all the way to like the other side of the map. But like, dude, it's, it's just so goofy, dude. So freaking goofy. So yeah, I do indeed take a chip hit here. I have to vault through because I don't really have a choice. Um, I do have my little Orpheus buddy here. So I'm gonna send out the Doofius uh, right now. No, I okay. I get the mis I make a mistake, dude. I didn't mean to send Orpheus to that pallet. I meant to send it to one like right there, which was really unlucky for me. Um, I think I'm, I think I go down like right here because he does the, he does the instant first. Yeah, he does the instant pickaxe, which kind of sucks. Um, yeah, whenever whenever you have no resource against this character and you're up against a wall, it can be pretty rough. But this is where the goofy part of the match comes in. Small Child's coming in. He finally sets up the rock there. And this is what was so goofy. Small Child is just doing a really good job of buying some time here. I'm about to die. Um, take does, does take one chip hit. Luckily, doesn't take two chip hits, which is really nice. Um, gets, gets the hit onto Small Child. And then I'm like, I'm over here. And I'm like, oh, wait. Guess what, dude? There's a catapult. There's a freaking catapult. I'm going to take this catapult. And then, you know, I didn't make the wise decision to think about the... <laughs> And as you can see, he stood still for like a second. It's like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just kill you. Oh, it was so funny, dude. Oh, it was so freaking funny. Like, I saw the tram, but I was like, eh, maybe it'll put me like... I didn't know where the catapult would send me, but I was like, it's either go back, get hit by Fool's Gold, or take the catapult. And I took the catapult, and I ended up like charging right into the tram, dude. I didn't I didn't hit the side of it. Like, maybe I would have hit the side of it. No, I ran straight into it, dude. Absolutely straight into it. All right, I need to see an instant replay of this. I need to see an instant replay of this. Let me see here. I need to see myself die from the hunter perspective. So I wrap around here, I take the catapult and whee! <laughs> oh, that is so goofy, dude. That is so freaking goofy. All right, so this next match here, I am once again playing a journalist, again, trying to learn this character a little bit more. Um, and we're up against Geisha, which I do end up taking the first chase here. And I just want to say like this, this was such a weird game, right? Uh, unfortunately, the Geisha did have a little bit of a connection issues, like a, a bit of a spotty connection throughout some of it but you know it, it is what it is um so i realized i gotta get start getting uh, orpheus out here because he's gonna hit me otherwise uh misses the attack there uh which was really nice and i set up orpheus here and i think she actually ends up hitting orpheus no she goes that way yeah she swings to, uh flies to the wrong butterfly i think uh, or at least cuts me off of the shack here so just run backwards once i hear that um kind of just playing around this area but, you know my, my first kite here my first kite actually isn't really that bad right it's not it's not that bad um but the big thing is uh, the, this match, like, just absolutely, yeah, actually dashed into the wrong butterfly again, uh, giving me another chance to vault. So I, I definitely should have taken a hit already here. I, I think it's just, like, because she had a bit of a spotty connection. Um, but yeah, th this match, like, you know, it starts off so well, thanks to, like, my decent kite. I set up the Orpheus once again, and I'm just, like, trying to make it into this little area. And thank goodness for Orpheus. She does indeed hit the little Orpheus there. Thank goodness. And you know, I'm a little bit worried that she could just like, you know, dash on through, but I'm gonna kind of play on this area anyway. I don't really like this area against Geisha because half the time she just finds a way of getting uh, into the shack by just doing some little butterfly trick. But instead she decides to blink and I'm like, well, I'm gonna get the heck out of here and head toward the broken kiting area off over here. Uh, and also what's good about this is I can, you know, break line of sight uh, with all these little obstacles. I just kind of keep, yeah, just keep trying to break line of sight, break line of sight. Um, and Geisha is eventually gonna try and catch up to me here. But uh, this is a bit jank right here. I think this is when uh, Geisha like almost gave up because there's a fast box here. And I was like, oh, keep the fast box. She actually picks up the fast box, which I was a little bit sad about. But I see this little crack. I'm just kind of like watching Geisha through this little crack in the wall. 
I'm playing this area. I see the red lights. So I go back around. I, I'm, ju I'm just circling around this area. And she puts down a butterfly but can't go to it. Um, so we're just kind of we're just kind of wrapping around this area. And for some reason, she decides to just sit right here for a second. I think she was like maybe giving up here. Uh, but instead, she doesn't give up because they put down the slow box. And I swear the second she tries to heal me, Geisha's like, yeah, no, I'm not having that. I am not having that. That must have been something like an internet issue right there. Um, but indeed gets hit onto the female dancer and I'm like, oh, okay, thank you for the body block. I appreciate that. But dude, the female dancer goes down like immediately after, dude. Immediately. Like, she's going to go down right here. Boom. And I was just like, bruh. The second she swaps targets, she gets down immediately. Like, my kite was, you know, not insane or anything, but like, it wasn't bad. Uh, and then female dancer gets down instantly. That, that always feels bad, dude. Whenever you're kiting well, and then like they swap to a teammate that kites for two seconds. You know, it, it always sucks. And you know, to be fair, sometimes I am that teammate, you know? Sometimes there is a teammate that's kiting for a stupidly long amount of time, then they swap to you, or in this case, myself, and then you just get down instantly. Um, but anyway, this is still like a, you know, this is still a pretty good looking match. Um, considering like, you know, people are still decoding, batters playing around this area, and we only need one more cypher, right? We only need one more cypher. Look at this seems good, right? This seems good. Well, trust me, it's not, right? It is not. So I'm heading here. This is now the last cypher being decoded. But just look what happens, dude. Look what happens. And I'm just like sitting here like, oh, you know, I cut it well. This this shouldn't be too rough yet, right? This shouldn't be too rough. But look at this, dude. This is just absolutely chaotic. Um, so Barman actually gets the uh, the speed drink there. That way Geisha, uh, that way she could body block. Um, and instead, Geisha's going to go for the barmaid. And boop, no heal for you, barmaid. She said no heals for you. And I'm just like begging uh, that she doesn't come after me because I'm trying to decode the last cypher. Batter misses the ball, gets downed, and female dancer is for some reason still in the area. <laughs> kind of hiding around here. Doesn't Decides not to set up a single box. Uh, another very strange reason. Um, and I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just begging, like, please don't go down, female dancer. Please don't go down because I need to prime this cypher. And lo and behold, guess what happens here, guys? She goes down. So yeah, everybody's dying here, and I send out my Orpheus, because I had to, bro, I had no other chance. I have to send my Orpheus over here, and they get hit anyway, so now I'm just like, Welp, why am I the only one that is decoding and rescuing, yet somehow all my teammates are dying? And I try to say, follow me, because I wanted her to like come over here or something, or right, try to help them uh, make me prime this cypher, because I got, I got slow decoding, right? I got slow decoding, batteries up a self heal, dies, and then Barmaid is also going to die. So once again, they're all dead, and I'm the only one decoding. And also, I perform the rescue. It's just like, what is happening, dude? After such a good kite, and all my teammates are dead? What is happening, dude? What is actually happening? So, now, which I thought was honestly a really bad decision, she decides to go after me. Which, you know, was a really, really risky decision. Because now the batter gets a free rescue onto the female dancer. And I was honestly a bit scared. I thought she was going to blink here. I was going to do a blink prediction here. Ready? I was That was my blink prediction. But she didn't use it. So, I was like, the second I would have heard the sound, I was going to vault that pallet. Um, but decides to go back because, you know, everybody was able to get back up because she got greedy. And now everybody's back on their feet. So this is looking a lot better. All because I, uh, all because she decided to get really, really aggressive and chase me. If she decided to um, pick up the barmaid there, I guarantee you that would have been really, really bad. Because she would have been able to chair the barmaid. Batter would have had no self-heal. I would have had to pop the cypher. Um, like, that, that's what she should have done. She should have 100% picked up the barmaid instead of chasing me. But now the cypher's primed. And then the second I see Barmaid go down after getting uh, harassed by the batter, we pop. And um, I think she's able to down the Barmaid here. I'm trying to like, run over here, but then she, boop, downs the poor Barmaid. And I just run over here, right? I just don't, I just don't want her to, uh, I don't want her to go to SA. Like I, I figure like, if she's going to come chase after me, that's fine. Because she's not chasing after somebody on the exit gate. And I kind of just tiptoe around. I see, I see that they're both going to opposite ends of the exit gate. So I'm trying to like just go for this rescue after she gets aggressive, which indeed she does. So I'm able to go for this rescue now. So this is like, you know, this is looking pretty good, right? This is looking pretty good. Uh, it is unfortunate that she goes after the female dancer here. Uh, she does get a spin off and has a slow box set up. She probably should have set up another slow box here, but uh, is indeed just going to go down. So poor female dancer, uh, but she is dead on chair. But by the time I was able to get the rescue and we're already booking it toward this exit gate. Uh, but here, there's, a, there's one last little goofy moment that happens. I have one last little Orpheus, and I learned that whenever you're heading for the exit gate, always face the opposite direction or else Orpheus won't come out, right? Well, guess what? Here comes the teleport, and just in case, boop, she hits Orpheus. I don't think she would have been able to hit me there, but it was like, just in case, I send Orpheus back, and she hits Orpheus instead after an instant teleport. Oh, it's so goofy, dude. Like, could you imagine, like, you're teleporting, and then you're like, boom, oh, yes, I hit somebody, and then you realize, oh, no, it was Orpheus. Like, oh, that's so goofy, dude. 
I don't know. Regardless of poor Gase's spotty connection, I think that was a very interesting match, considering just... Uh, it literally looked like we were going to lose. But, you know, we somehow got three escape. Alrighty, and for the last match, I am playing Orpheus. Let's go, bro. It's nightmare gaming time. Let's freaking go. Immediately setting up the bird. Yo, bird up, bro. I set that up in the shack area, so I know somebody's going to be on the shack cypher. Um, which is pretty nice. And I see that Weeping Clown is already over here. So I'm going to start chasing Weeping Clown right from the very start. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think this match goes pretty well for me at the start. But again, Nightmare kind of sucks. <laughs> He's not that great. This, this character definitely deserves a buff. Uh, I definitely think he has some strengths. But, you know, tight kiting him is just... Yeah, it's 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 pretty rough. Yeah, so all, already is just like doing really, really good. Transitioning out of the area with the freaking rocket. Putting down these pallets. And I just decided to break the pallet, right? Because I thought that was a pretty good pallet. I decided to bird up. And right now, I just want presence, right? I just want presence. I don't see the dock. But I see that we've been climbing still up here. I see him drop down. And yeah, the, as you can see, again, this is a very, very bad start. But th this match is like a dummy over supportive match, right? This is this is the kind of stuff I have to deal with all the time. And I just swapped targets because I, I lost where the... Uh, I lost where Weeping was. So now I'm just going to go up the Prospector. And this is actually a broken area, dude. Honestly, like, you could probably just infinitely loop Nightmare around this area, uh, which I was kind of annoyed about. Um, I also brought Excitement specifically for the Batter Prospector plus Weeping Clown combo. And I was like, yeah, I definitely want Excitement here. But I do get the Lurk off on the Prospector here. And boop, I'm able to get a hit, which is very, very nice. So finally, after all this time, I am able to get a hit. And they don't exactly... um. Oh yeah, so this is also a decent area as well. Uh, I think I eventually put down... No, he's gonna vault. I think he's able to get this vault off. No, I break this pallet here. That way he can't loop me around this area for too long. And I know he's still back there, wants me to pick up his magnet. Um, but I still, yeah, I just I just excite me. Cause you know what, I'm just like, I need the presence, dude. I wanna be able to start warping with my birds. And I wanna say, I don't know if I do, but I wanna say I just get aggressive here. I might not, but I wanna say I just get aggressive. Cause I bird up, um, and then I think the bird actually lands on the batter. No, I have... Okay, I, I can see where the batter is. So I put a bird up on his cypher, and I just go after a batter, right? Because I'm like, okay, if he's the one who's going to come in, and I can down him before the rescue happens, that means I'll have to force somebody else to come in, right? So that's what I thought was really, really good. And he doesn't... He's just kind of like running around this area. Um, so I'm like, well, this is free. This is actually free. I see that he's going to... I thought he was going to vault there. Um, and by going around, I prefer not vaulting. Go through the window. But he can still, you know, wrap back around. Um, this window is very, very good. Honestly, just very, very good. Especially against Nightmare, I feel like. And I think I am, luckily, even with the Rage Mode, uh, I am able to get... Uh, I, I'm able to get the batter down. And I think I just chair him here. Yeah, I just chair him. The thing, the thing was, I was actually getting really frustrated with, against this match because of this Doctor, right? This Doctor just kept on... like As all Doctors do when you leave them alone. They just keep healing their teammates, and they just keep getting free rescues, right? Uh, but I'm going back out to the Prospector because I know he's dead in one more chair. Uh, or not one more chair. Uh, he's, de he's dead after, uh, like, a second chair. I just don't decide to decide to camp. Uh, d makes the makes the decision to try and... I don't know. I think he thought I was going to go back around. Uh, definitely made a very, very early decision there. But, yeah, Batter is already being healed up by this Doctor. Again, this Doctor is being so annoying. So once I see the Doctor, I'm like, all right, you're my next target, bro. I I'm getting very annoyed at this Doctor because she just keeps saving and keeps healing, like, pretty much instantly. Um, and so I'm like, yep, you are now my new target. And now that I am at max presence... I finally have the ability to do two dashes. Two, not one, but two dashes here. So she is going to get the rescue off here, which is a bit frustrating. Um, and I actually, I just keep going after the dock, right? I just keep going after. I know the prospector just did on chair, but I just keep going after this dock, dude, because I want this dock freaking gone. And I am able to get the hit, the terror shock even, uh, thanks to her vaulting the window. Again, she didn't really have much of a choice there, but you know. We were able to get, uh, not quite. Yeah, not quite. Thank goodness. I was so happy that I hit through the window, dude. I did not know the batter was there. I actually had no idea the batter was there. Like, I was so focused on the dock, I just didn't know he was there. And I was hoping he, I was, like, praying that he would vault there, dude. I wanted him to vault there so bad. Um, he tries to go for a ball here, but he misses. Uh, and I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it anyway. It doesn't really matter. Because I'd probably be able to hit the dock anyway. She has slow vaulting speed. So she, there probably wasn't too big of an escape there for her. But yeah. Uh, yeah, Doc's now in basement, and I set up the bird, and I don't think that I warp. Do I warp? Um, I don't think that I do, right? Um, no, I, I'm pretty sure I don't. Yeah, so I get, I, I, I can see the weeping clown, yeah. I see Weepy here, I see him come in, and yeah, I think what I do, I actually eventually swap to abnormal. They're trying to, this cypher dude, they tried to, like, prime the cypher so badly, dude. They wanted this cypher primed so freaking badly, but I know that they're still down there, so I can just go back holding the batter, 
and go back down in there, potentially get some hits on them. Uh, but they get the Weeping Clown Rocket, and I was like, oh my gosh, man, come on. <laughs> And I hit the doctor instead. I'm like, oh, come on, man. Come on. They're all getting out of this freaking basin. I was so mad about that, dude. I was so freaking mad about that. And they're like all here, right? They're all here because they want to prime this cypher, dude. They want so badly to prime this cypher. So I get Weeping Clown down. And they. I noticed that the cypher is like pretty much ready, right? And thank goodness I'm able to chair or pick up the Weeping Clown first, which was so very nice. And I think I actually get the better down here. That, that was so nice. I was so happy about that. Um, and I think I might, yeah, I get the, ch I get the chair off. Cyber Sheen is indeed primed, which I was so scared about. Doctor is healing. And uh, they, right here, right here, Doc should have just popped, right? She should have just popped. But now I just have normal. Boop, I have normal. And now that has lost so much progress. And again, they're all still up. <laughs> they're all still up. They've all seen the chair. And this is just, this is just such a game, dude. It is such a freaking game. I put the burn on the Cypher again so that the, the progress is slowed down. Um, yeah, Doc has the stupid pallet to work with there. But she runs back over here and she goes down, dude. She does indeed go down. And <laughs> this is just, oh, it's just so silly, dude. It's just such a silly match with like how much they were scrambling around, how many people were dead, how many times they're trying to prime the Cypher. And I, I just go straight to the processor because I know that he's dead on chair. I know that they get the rescue off. I can just down him. And now pretty much everybody's down except for this weeping clown. So I see that he comes on in. Never mind. I pick up. Oh, I know. I just yeah. I just pick up Prospector because, um, boom, he is dead on chair. So that is one person eliminated. And they decide to get greedy and heal up. So then I can just go back after them again, dude. Oh, I just go back after them again, dude. Oh, it's such a, such a chaotic match. I down the batter once again, and I, I'm like, I think I go check on the cipher. No, I do not yet. Not yet. Um, here we go. Boop boop. Now I down the weeping clown. And oh, I think I noticed that the cypher, yeah, the cypher wasn't wiggling. Uh, because I, I guess Doc was just playing it safe. Yeah, I think she's like upstairs or something. Yeah, Doc, Doc was just playing it safe for some reason. I'm not really sure why. She definitely should have been decoding that whole time. Uh, maybe maybe could have got the uh, the cypher to be prob. Yeah, definitely could have been. But I think she was just scared, wanted to heal up or whatever. Uh, but now I just burn up and I don't need to warp or anything. I know she's got it on her. And then look at this. I get a hit on the Doc. And I don't think she can pop in time. Yeah, she knows she can't pop in time. So, abnormal once again, bro. Abnormal gaming. <laughs> but they're all back up once again, dude. It's just like, it's just over and over, dude. I just keep having to do this song and dance so many times. Down them. Abnormal. Stop it. Go back to the Cypress. <laughs> it's just like a big endless loop of downing people and watching out for their freaking harassment tools and doctor healing up. It's just, oh, it's so much, dude. It is so much. Yeah, Doc heals up once again batters back in the chair but now i can kind of guard this cypher here kind of can guard this cypher um i see that weeping clown is right over here and i think i know that he's dead on chair so if i go after him he just dies right he actually just dies um and instead for some besides vaulting he decides yeah just tries to start running right with the flywheel but flywheel kind of uses against double uh double nightmare. and i warp back to the cypher and i'm like get the heck out of here doc i know that they're trying to prime that cypher that's what i was worried about right like i'm okay if they get the rescue i just don't want this cypher to be primed that's the biggest thing, because once the cypher gets popped, that's when things get uh, risky. But right here, I think I go for the Yaldabaoth, the good old Yaldabaoth. I land, and then boom, yep. You don't want to attack before you land. You want to attack right after you land. The good old Yaldabaoth trick. And I don't... Is Doc dead on chair? I don't remember. <laughs> I think she is dead on chair here. Yep, she is dead on chair. And I think they kind of just give up here. I think they just kind of give up, because they're both in the area. They don't really know what they're doing. So I'm just like, well, there you guys are. Let me down one, and then, yeah, they just give up, so I just kill them. But I was nice, because they were doing such a, you know, a good job of trying. I just surrender. I literally just surrender. Yep. Yippee! I was like, why not get the tie? I got my deductions, because I was playing Nightmare for deductions, right? I, I got my deductions, so I was like, if any of them needed deductions, you know, I'll give them the tie so that they can get deductions too. And that's something that I kind of wish more hunters would do sometimes. Uh, that way more survivors could get deductions. I don't know. I like doing it in quick matches sometimes. I just give survivors ties that way in case they needed some deductions. They actually do unlock it because you have to tie or win to get the deduction. So, yeah. It was a fun game. I know I got the 4K in my heart, but, you know, I wanted to give them the, the tie. But, yes, everybody, that will be it for today. Thank you so very much for watching. Those are some fun matches, that's for sure. It's always fun to try out new characters and whatnot. But that'll be it for me. Thank you so very much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.